I know exactly what you're thinking. 2008 Citroen Berlingo, it's the perfect car. The Berlingo is not only fun to say, it can outperform most slower cars on the road. It's got a lot going for it. Super versatile. As a micro camper, it has everything you need, wife not included. It is never out of place in any car park. And you can park it almost anywhere. The Berlingo does have one trick up its sleeve. I'll let JC show you. Not you. Oh. The one that was formed in the image of a baboon. Zoom! Yes, you. There is, however, one or two shortcomings as a camper van. It's too short. And, as an Englishman, I need somewhere to drink my tea when it rains. We've had a great time in this van, but we have a new family member and we've finally outgrown it. We've used every square centimetre of the van and it's taken us over 100,000 kilometres around Europe, but it's finally time to say goodbye. Just not a wasted night Just not a memory Of what is long time gone Just not a hopeless dream Just not a fade away Of what is in my sight Just not sad enough This video series is of course about our new camper van. So we rent a car, collect a trailer, all we have to do is get the car to find the trailer. Left. Right. Ah, here we go. Ah, no tow bar. Hello. That worked out how to use this car and the trailer. See how it goes. Looking forward to it. So what am I going to collect and why am I taking a trailer? To answer the first question, it's a Ford Transit. This one is the 140 horsepower 2011 version with seven gears, including reverse. It's an L2 and H3, but most importantly, it's four wheel drive. The four wheel drive version has a slightly raised floor, so we went for the H3, so there's enough room for us to stand. We chose the medium wheelbase L2 so we can fit a bike garage in the back and it should still squeeze in a standard car park space. It took us about a year to find a van that fitted our needs. This one has a few dings and unfortunately it's not drivable because the clutch is gone. Which hopefully answers question two. Yeah, it also doesn't start. It was a little bit wobbly coming home. The car and trailer are both at maximum capacity. Getting absolutely smashed by trucks here. The speed that's overtaking me. Somehow we made it home in one piece, and now it's time to offload the van. I need to find out about her She's 
She lives. By some miracle, the engine started and the hydraulic clutch seems to fix itself temporarily, so I was able to take it for a test drive the next day. Tune in for the next episode where I discover everything that's wrong with the van and try to fix some of it with a penis pump. Finally test drive the van. Brakes, they just think about it, that's all that's happening. And I pop to the shops to get some new gloves. I also have a second series coming out called the Schlachthof, where I convert this disused slaughterhouse into a workshop. The Schlachthof series is jam-packed full of danger, cleaning, cutting, measuring, slow motion drilling, painting, and questionable behavior. Some serious banging going on here. If you got this far, then thank you very much. It all helps with the algorithm. If you fancy feeding the monster further, then click some of the buttons below. Catch you soon.